on the Blazing Superstars page. That's Casey Witt's page. And she posted this really awesome post on how to contact your customers to um, let them know about our Bring Back My Bar Sense. And she was going back to, um, to her customer orders and looking at customers or searching for customers who had previously ordered puppy love or had previously ordered spice grapefruit. And that was a really, really good idea because she's going and finding the people who have ordered this previously and is saying, Hey, you know, we have this again. I just want to let you know, it's only available till the end of this month. So then my gears started going and I've only been with Sensi since February. So it's been almost a year. These scents that are in the Bring Back My Bar are way before my time and probably way before a lot of um, a lot of you guys' time. So I came up with this really great idea that I was going to take our Bring Back My Bar scents and I was going to compile a list of current catalog scents or even scents that are from spring, summer that you can look in your workstation and search your customers and see who has recently ordered them and then give them to you guys to make this a little bit easier for us newer consultants. So I've got my box of Bring Back My Bar scents. I'm also going to like sniff them and kind of give you like my idea of what they smell like. So if you haven't gotten yours yet, you kind of know what they're smelling like. So if a customer asks like, hey, does it have like a floral tone or does it really smell like grape? You can say, yeah, yeah, it does. So and if you see my eyes like wandering around all over the place, I've got notes hanging up on my screen so I can kind of like keep track of everything. Otherwise, I'm going to ramble. So I'm going to get started. So the first bring back my bar is Grape Granita. This is um, this is actually my daughter's favorite and it really does smell like grape. I think it smells like a grape dum dum or like a grape Jolly Rancher. Um, so obviously I've never even heard of this scent. I get asked for it a lot though. Um, so the one thing that this would probably compare to would be um, Love You Very Much, Blueberry Rush, or even Ode to Opulence. So if you had customers in the past few months that have ordered any three of those scents, this would be a good one to recommend. They're probably going to like this because it has the same type of um, like base note. And next one, Puppy Love. Um, when I saw this on the list, I was really anxious to get this because I really wanted to see what it smelled like because it smells or it sounds like it smells adorable. And I'm kind of right. It smells like it has a citrusy end to it that I'm getting and a floral note. So I would think that this one would probably be close to where did I got to find it. Sweet Pea and Vanilla. Eskimo Kiss, and I know a lot of us have customers that really, really, really like the Eskimo Kiss, and Camu Camu. It has almost like um, a papaya, kind of like a soft, fruity smell to it. So this is going to be a really good one, too, since spring's coming, and people are looking for less heavy smells um, as they open their windows and air their, their houses out. They're not going to want, like, real heavy, you know, like everything nice or apple s'mores, which are more suited for fall and winter. Um, next one, Grandma's Kitchen. Again, I just kind of went over everything nice and, and that kind of thing. Um, this one smells to me like everything nice. Um, it does have, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of this one. It has a very, I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. It doesn't have a very, I don't know, I don't want to say it doesn't smell pleasant, but I know this is going to appeal to a lot of people who like baked goods smells. Um, I haven't warmed it yet, so I don't want to give up on this one just yet. I want to smell it first, or smell it first when it's warmed. Um, but I think that this smells the closest to everything nice. So contact your everything nice customers about Grandma's Kitchen. And next one, Mulberry Bush. I did manage to get one of these. Um, I don't even know how I got it. It was an older BBMB. I love this one. This one smells so good, and my mom kind of stole it from me, so I never got a chance to warm it. But now I have my own. Um, so I think this one would probably likely go best with Boho. I know I sold a, a lot of Boho this past season and love you very much. It's very, very similar to those. I don't get much of a woodsy, like um, an earthy smell because you would think with a bush, it would kind of smell like leafy or you'd have like a some type of like pine smell behind it. But I smell a lot of like fruit. So I think this one's going to be a really good one too for spring. Let's see what else we got. Oh my gosh. Banana nut bread. If you haven't gotten your BBMB set and you're just looking to order one or two just to have <laughs> this one, this is one that you're going to want. Oh my God, it smells so good. So 
anybody who likes baked goods that regularly orders from you, so your pumpkin roll, your um, salted caramel cupcake, your crumb top, um, anything that falls in the cafe collection, they're going to want this. Even those who, um, if you guys were here for the spring summer catalog, the bananas or even banana berry, anything that's got a heavy banana note, this one's going to be it. It has that kind of runts banana smell to it with um, a little bit of nuttiness. It's not terribly strong, but it smells really, really good. I just want to eat it. All right, let's see what else. Um, Red Delicious. And I might as well dig out the other one because I think they're very, very close. Hold on. So unprepared. I figured if I'm going to start doing videos, they are going to have to just be as they are because I'm not trying to edit this stuff. So Hemingway and Red Delicious. These are apple scents that your customers are going to go crazy for. I know I've got about 30% of my customers who have been just, where's the apple? What happened to the apple? So when I offered them apple s'mores, it was really 50-50. Some of them loved it. Some of them hated it. I personally liked apple s'mores. So if you've got people who really like apple s'mores, Hemingway is the way to go for them. It does have a woodsy end to it. This one smells fantastic warmed. I've already warmed some of it. It smells like walking into an old country store with that like cedary undertone, but it's really strong apple. So for your Apple S'mores fans, Hemingway, get them with the Hemingway. Red Delicious, for those of you that remember Apple Press, or you get asked for Apple Press, which I get asked for all the time. I have one special customer who really, really likes Apple Press. This is the one I'm going to be giving her samples of to get her hooked on, and she's probably going to want to order a bunch of it. It's just a really basic, bright apple scent. Wild Black Cherry. I know that this is also another popular one that people have asked for. It's very fruity, and it's kind of reminds me, do you guys remember, um, what was it called? Not zebra, is it Zebra Stripe gum? The, the gum that had the little zebra print on the wrapper? It smells exactly like this gum. Um, so if you've got people that have ordered Aussie Plum, Perfectly Pomegranate, Black Raspberry Vanilla, those really strong fruity scents, hook them up with some Wild Black Cherry. They're really going to like this one. Spice Grapefruit, another one that really surprised me. Reading the description, I didn't think that I was going to like it because of all of the spices that they listed in the description. But I think this is right up there with your Sunkissed Citrus, but it gives it just a little bit more of a spicy edge to it rather than it being so bright and shiny, which I kind of describe that one as like my go-to summer day scent is the Sunkissed Citrus. Um, so Spice Grapefruit is going to be a really popular one also. Very clean. Um... That definitely smells like grapefruit. So I put on here for this one, where I got to find it. I got so many notes. Um, Sunkissed citrus and even coconut lemongrass. People do like the really lean, um, clean scents. So maybe for kitchen, for a bathroom, this is going to be a good one for those guys. And simply irresistible as well as happy go lucky. Um, these are those feminine scents that have that musky cologne -y edge to them. I'm going to say probably closest to like Luna, for instance. Um, I wrote down the other ones too. Happy Go Lucky, Simply Irish. Okay. So Quiver, those are the um, customers that have ordered Quiver in the laundry line are really going to like these too. Duchess and Davenport, which are in our current catalog. Um, I know I sold a lot of Duchess. I personally like Duchess, so I'm probably going to really like the Happy Go Lucky. Um, and also Shimmer. Shimmer is a light scent, but it does have that little, like, <sighs> cologne-y, perfumey undertone. So either one of these are going to appeal to customers that have ordered any of those scents. And again, those are Quiver, Davenport, Duchess, Luna, and Shimmer. Oats and Honey. Okay. This one is amazing. I probably like this one better than the um, banana nut bread. Oh, it smells so good. So this one, again, any of your food scents. And same thing with carrot cake. I'll pull that one out too. Carrot cake. Everybody, I guess, was hungry when they did their BBMB voting. <laughs> so carrot cake, um, banana nut bread, oats and honey, all going to fall into the same category. So anybody that likes your, your food scents, your cafe collection, sugar cookie, simply vanilla, salted caramel cupcake, pumpkin roll, um, Central Park praline, hook them up with these three scents. Um, 
they're going to be huge sellers. And then you can be like, hey, three for 14, six for 25, and they can get two of each. Okay, go, 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 G. I have to smell this again. Okay, it's fruity. When I read the description, it automatically took me back to guava honey. I was very nervous about this one. This one's very bearable. So I would think anybody that does very merry cranberry has ordered guava honey will probably like this one. It doesn't smell like guava honey, so don't be worried. But if they have ordered guava honey, they like that real bright fruit smell, they're probably going to like this one. And sweet pea and vanilla is another one that I wrote down. Um, it doesn't have... It doesn't have too much of that real strong, like, floral scent that Sweet Pea and Vanilla had, but it's along the same lines. So, if you've got customers that have ordered those three, check them out for Go Go Goji. And then Hendrix. Oh, my gosh. This is amazing. I could smell this all day. I'm not a patchouli fan. This has notes of patchouli in it. Um, this is going to go great for, if you guys remember Atlas Cedar, it was in the spring-summer catalog that was retired. So if you've got customers that are really like an Atlas Cedar and they miss it, this is going to be up their alley. Um, same thing with um, Business Casual. It's not as strong as Mystery Man or Business Casual, but it's there. Um, My Dear Watson, Shaka, anybody that likes those light man scents, um, this is the one for them. The patchouli isn't seriously strong, but I have a feeling when it's warmed, it'll come through because that's going to be a base note. So if you do have customers that are actually not actually, that are always asking almost habitually about, do you have patchouli? When simply patchouli coming back? Where the patchouli scents? Hook them up with Hendrix. Um, I guess the name is kind of stereotypical with the patchouli thing. Um, <laughs> so let them know that Hendrix is available. Tell them it's not straight patchouli, but if they're looking for those patchouli notes, this is going to have what they need. Let's see. I'm almost done. I've got a couple left. Um, cherry almond pie and cherry vanilla. Again, these two are really, really close. And if I'm not mistaken, cherry almond pie was the one they said was, um, Orville's favorite. And I can see why this one smells really, really good. Um, so for either one of these, especially cherry vanilla, if you've got a cherry limeade fan that, you know, went nuts, um, like somebody we know that went nuts when cherry limeade came out in the scent packs for the sale that we recently had. Tell them they need some cherry vanilla in their life. And if you've got somebody that likes sugar cherry or crumb top or likes to mix the two, I know a couple people that have done that, cherry almond pies for them. So either cherry limeade or sugar cherry, these are the ones for them. Simply Rose. This is really self-explanatory. We all, I'm sure, have had customers that have said, hey, where's the Simply Rose? Why did they get rid of it? I wish it came back. Their dream came true. Hook them up with as much Simply Rose as they could probably stuff into their pockets because it may not come back again. Um, but this one actually doesn't smell too bad. It kind of reminds me of those little decorative soaps that my grandmother used to have out in her vanity in her powder room. Um, it's light. It's not really strong. I probably would mix that with something. I would maybe take a half a cube of it personally and mix it with maybe um, vanilla bean buttercream or simply vanilla to soften it a little bit. But it does smell really nice. And then the last one, making sure, yeah, the last one is watermelon patch. I can't think of any scent bar that we've had that smells like this. Um, but if you guys remember, I know I'm not that old, but I'm thinking like 80s, 90s, watermelon, bubble yum, bubble gum. And that's a mouthful. If you guys remember that gum, the big like, bricks of gum that you used to chew and like try to stick all five of them in at once. Um, <laughs> this smells just like it, exactly like it. And it takes me back to like, you know, when I was able to walk around outside and come home when the street lights come on, when that was safe, um, you know, and I used to have a stick of this stuff in my pocket all the time. It really brings back some childhood memories for me. I really like this one a lot. Um, also, you've got all these customers who went gaga over those um, buddy clips, the Scout the Dragon Wild Watermelon. Look in your files, find your customers that ordered your, your buddy clips. Tell them this smells as close as possible to wild watermelon. I know I had a couple customers that got the wild watermelon bar and it was really, really strong. Um, and they had to either use less of it or mix it with something. So if they like the watermelon scent, but they're looking for something a little bit less as, as far as strength, tell them that um, the watermelon patch is the way to go. So... That's pretty much it. That's all the bars. Um, I really wanted, God, this is like 15 minutes already. I really wanted to 
I guess, give you guys options. So we could look into your, your past customers. You can go right into workstation, go into your contacts. And I'm pretty sure I'm trying to visualize this in my head. There's a little search bar um, that you can type in the name of a scent or a keyword, and it will pull up everybody's orders um, that have contained that at some point in time in your order history. So this video was kind of more for the, um, the consultants on our team that haven't been with the company that long, anywhere from, I don't know, three weeks that have ordered stuff from our current catalog or the ones that have been with us six, six months to a year um, that had uh, either this as their transition or the spring summer catalog previously. Um, because the news, these, these bring back my bar scents. Nobody, I know I, I personally have never heard of half of them and never smelled them. And I certainly don't have any customers that order them, but I want to find a way to connect with customers that have ordered from me before to say, Hey, there's something that we have. It's very similar. I think you'd really like this, offer them a sample and then let them come back and, and order a ton of it from me because it's only going to be available for two more weeks. So I hope you guys found this video very helpful. I'm sorry that it was so long. I told you guys I ramble. Um, I'm probably going to make another video right after this. So, um, and check out my Scentsy Blanket. Shameless self-promotion. So, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Get to it. Research your customers. Find out which scents they ordered previously. And let's get some BBMB sales up. Yeah!